Uh, we had Jagmeet Singh on, on the program earlier. Is it a lifeline for Jagmeet Singh? The pipeline issue becomes a lifeline for him in British Columbia. He's got to find some way to gain traction. Absolutely. This is going to be a critical issue for him in the bid to try and get that riding of Burnaby South. Uh, we know that this is ground zero for the pipeline debate. So at the end of the day, if he can't make a sell on the pipeline and try and get a seat to Parliament in that riding, he's but, he's got a huge can, problem on his hands. He's, 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 actually, he already has a problem. He's down four to five points in the last month. Those people have gone into the liberal category. And, you know, when he's at 15% now, once you get into the lower teens, it's outside of the usual historical space for the New Democrats. You know, when the New Democrats are above 20, that's exceptionally good. When they're between 15 and 20, that's usually where they are. When they get below that, you got to watch out. And he's already at war with the birthplace of the NDP CCF. Saskatchewan. Yeah. I mean, how many fights does this guy need? The, the other La thing yeah, go ahead. for the NDP is that they have, they're really having a financial crisis right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to affect the extent to which they can actually have a real campaign in 2019. So that's huge Look, for them. Bob, they're they're toast. Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. think they're toast, but I do think they have toast. to decide whether they're a party of the working person, which is what Rachel Notley says, or the environmental movement, well, which we, is what uh, in BC he's making it out to be. Well, he's already declared himself as an environmentalist. He doesn't care about the working part of the party. But, you know, the, look, the, the NDP is finished with this guy as a leader. And it's good luck for the Liberals because that means that they're going to they are going to win a lot of ridings because the NDP support is not high enough uh, for, the vote and, split. for the vote split. Okay, let's talk about vote split, and I want to talk about Maxime Bernier. Right. He launched, he was also on the program today. He's got the new People's Party of Canada, Nick. Um, he made an announcement, and now I don't know if he's at the front of a parade with anyone behind him. He's raised $140,000. He said he's going to run 338 candidates. Uh, values, immigration, private health care. These were all once third rail issues in politics. He's, he's riding the third rail on this party. It, do, does Andrew Scheer have to take him seriously? Oh, absolutely. You know, in the poll that we did with the Globe and Mail, 17% of Canadians would be open to voting for a party led by Maxime Bernier, and about one out of every five think there should be another new Conservative party. So there's definitely upside. Can he be a spoiler? Absolutely. Can he win? Probably not. Especially if he presses ahead with extreme diversity. There's a whole audience of people out there who want to hear more of that. Uh, why would we assume that in Canada we don't have a lot of people who could appeal to strongly uh, to a, a sort of right of center kind of leader, a populist leader, appealing to him with all of this kind of stuff? And he's saying the right stuff. Well, Kelly Leach ran on that and she didn't do well, Christy, in the leadership. Maxine Bernier's adopting part of that. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to have to be careful for sure in his messaging, but really the question is to what extent can he actually get this party up and running and to be competitive a year out from an election? That mm -hmm. is uh, an uphill <clears throat> battle uh, and the the party's going to have to Look, deal with all that. All he has to do is take two or three percentage points away in some of these writings yes. and the Conservatives lose. This is why Trudeau was so lucky. He's got an incredibly weak NDP on one side mm -hmm. and now a, a, a Conservative party not split but uh, fragmented and the Liberals just keep coming up the middle. But if he wants to really have a chance and have a smash and grab, what he has to do is to say all of the parties are ideologically bankrupt. The establishment mm -hmm. has failed Canadians so that he can start to appeal to disgruntled voters in other parties, liberal disgruntled voters, new Democrats and so forth. This, this, here's a rule in Canadian national politics. If the Conservatives are divided, Liberals win every time. 